Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with Dave's Faves. And today, I want to talk to you about my favorite Mozart Grand Partita. Now, what is a grand and what is a partita? Well, grand is just grand with the D missing. No one knows why. It means the same thing. A partita is a serenade, a piece of sort of relaxing, occasional, often outdoor type music, but not necessarily, consisting in the Baroque period of some sort of prelude or overture of some kind, and then a bunch of dances, such as, you know, Bach's big six keyboard partitas, or the or the sonatas and partitas for solo violin, which are big deals. The difference between a sonata and a partita is that the sonata is, is serious music. That is, it doesn't contain dances. Partitas contain dances. That was sort of the difference. Anyway, uh, the, the grand partita is the world's largest and best composition for wind ensemble. Mozart was an exceptional master at scoring for wind ensemble. And this particular wind ensemble contains oboes, clarinets, basset horns. A basset horn is a lower version of a clarinet. Bassoons, horns, and like a cello or a double bass or a contrabassoon, something like that on the bottom. It is a glorious, extraordinary piece of music. Really just an amazingly euphonious, beautiful, fabulously colored piece of music. And it's huge. It lasts about an hour, 50 minutes, you know, on, on a good day. And, and there's nothing quite like it. You may recall, if you saw the movie Amadeus, that it was the Grand Partita that freaked out Salieri so much that he determined to murder Mozart. That was his introduction to Mozart. And F. Murray Abraham very beautifully describes his first encounter with the, the adagio from the Grand Partita, the beautiful curve of the oboe's melody. I mean, it's, it's exquisite, absolutely exquisite. And every wind ensemble worth its salt has recorded it. They must. And most of those performances are very, very good because, first of all, these days, we have a surfeit of extraordinary wind players, whether on regular instruments or period instruments, it doesn't matter so much. And it's not like string playing where you can like ruin the whole piece by, you know, pretending to be authentic. Here it works pretty well. But there's, they're, they're, they're just really, really good. And so it's very difficult to choose. You know, I, I, most heavy duty collectors will have, oh, I don't know, a couple of dozen recordings of it or something. Even if you don't play it that often, you got to have a ton of them. They just accumulate because there are so many good ones that you want to hear. And the one I've chosen, the one that's my personal favorite, is this one. It's on Superfon, um, Denon Superfon, or Japanese Superfon in this case. It's got a Denon catalog number, but it's Superfon with the Czech Philharmonic Wind Ensemble. Because it's the Czech Philharmonic. Because Mozart wrote for the Prague Wind Soloist. Because Czech woodwind players were famous even in Mozart's day. And they are famous today, and they're still famous today. They have a wonderful proprietary school of woodwind playing, which, however more standardized the Czech Philharmonic has sounded recently, even the woodwinds are still the woodwinds. They're still pretty, pretty special. They really are. And they play it, oh, they play it like gods. It's just amazingly beautiful. And let me see, what is this got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven movements. It's big. I told you it's big. It's, it begins with a slow introduction, then a zippy allegro, then a minuet, then that adagio from Amadeus that drove Salieri insane, and then another minuet, and then a romanza adagio. Maybe oh, it was the romanza is the one that drove Salieri insane. Just pick your one. They'll both drive you insane. It's, it doesn't make any difference which. Then there's a theme in variations, and then there's a rondo finale. So... The partita is essentially the same as one of Mozart's big serenades. And in fact, it's called serenades, like serenade number 13 or something. Yes, it's number 13 in the list of Mozart's serenades. And a serenade is just essentially, by the classical period, you know, if it wasn't called a partita, you know, it was a serenade, which is just a, basically a symphony with extra movements. 
many of them requiring solos in like concerto fashion. And there's no rule to how many movements there can be. It depends how big you want the serenade to be. The whole point is that it should fill basically an hour of time very pleasurably. And that's exactly what the Grand Partita does. It's one of the most pleasurable things in existence. And this particular disc also comes with a couple more. I mean, the second disc, there's two discs. The Grand Partita is all of disc one. You get, uh, I think, the C minor serenade and, and yes, number 12 and number 11 in E flat. And they're just amazing pieces. They really, really are. I mean, Mozart was such a genius at writing for wind ensemble. Nobody has ever, ever matched him in writing for wind ensemble. I mean, Richard Strauss wrote some late works um, for wind ensemble, which, you know, clearly modeled on the Mozarts. And of course, you know, the, the models are better than, you know, the sequels. Uh, although the Strauss pieces are lovely, they are, but Mozart is Mozart. And, and then, you know, after that, only the Dvorak Wind Serenade is really comparable in terms of quality to anything Mozart wrote. And Dvorak only wrote one Wind Serenade. But Mozart wrote a whole pile of pieces for wind ensemble. But most significantly, the Grand Partita with this glorious Czech Philharmonic Wind Ensemble performance on Superphone, but if you cannot find it or, you know, can't source Japanese CDs or whatever it is, don't worry. Just get yourself a Grand Partita. There's a great one on Telarc with the, what was it, the Orchestra of St. Luke's and Charles Macaris. There's, there's a wonderful one with the Concertgebouw Wind Ensemble, which is another amazing wind ensemble group, group of wind players, and that's on BIS. There's, there's just tons of them. And most of them are wonderful. Even Leopold Stokowski did a fabulous partita on Vanguard. I mean, you know, it's, it's a tough piece to wreck. And, and it's so, so, so beautiful. You, you can't find a better way to fill an hour. You really can't. Whether you pay attention to it or just relax to it or read a book, it's amazing stuff. So there you go. The Mozart Grand Partita with the Czech Phil on super fun. Go for it. Keep on listening, friends. Thank you for joining me. Take care.